there, welcome back to another episode of Consulting Proficiency Resources, Moral Leadership Coaching Tidbit, where we are breaking through traditional 20th century leadership style for optimum success. Hi, I'm Cheryl, and I'm the founder and managing partner for CPR. And if you're new to this platform, welcome to CPR, where we resuscitate one business, one lead at a time. And if you're returning, thank you so much to all faithful followers from our debut program starting from December 2022. We took a hiatus in the summer of 2023 for you to do the work. This is a work channel. So if you're on your faith walk and you aspire to be an effective leader with effective decision making and you know better, so you want to do better and you want to transition from a transactional or autocratic or micromanager to role an ethical leader while doing business successfully while here this is the platform for you so we encourage you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so of course the notification bell thumbs up if you agree with being a moral and ethical leader is needed for this time more than ever according to our survey and of course you share with like-minded individuals this is level two the second building block series we've already placed 13 key episodes from our level one series and it was all about doing the work we subscribe to james 26 faith without work is dead so you must do the work and according to james clay author of the book atomic habits if you apply one percent of the work daily for a whole year you would have net gain of 37 percent and we challenge you in level one to put in 5, 10, 15 percent, invest in you because you value you and your team. So you are now ready to level up, muscle up, take things to the next level. So level two, building block is dedicated to leveling up, muscling up, taking things to the next level. And I can't think of a better way to do so by considering what we were innately built into us. We were created by our creator and therefore we are creative beings. So we're gonna tackle the art of creativity for the next few episodes and we hope you'll stick around and join us on it. So if you doubt that you're creative and you're on your fate walk, let's see what the good book says. So we're gonna get into the book of Genesis, chapter one, verse 27. And I encourage you to start from 26, but just to keep it crisp under 15 minutes we're going to just get straight to the key points so genesis 1 27 and it reads so god created man in his own image in the image of god created he him male and female created he them all praises to the most high so again if you're on your faith walk and you desire to do better and you desire to take things to the next level we strongly encourage you to stick around and do the work Invest in you and your team so you're able to level up or muscle up. Again, we're going to tap into some key points dealing with creativity. Before you do that, I want to introduce a very important quote from Carol G. And it's all based on our Level Up series. And it says, if you want to get to the next level or level up, assume a risk, take a risk, and do something different. So in order to go to the next level, these are specific instructions and I cannot say how, how solid this advice is, how true it is. You cannot afford to do nothing, right? That's the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again. And if that formula was nothing, you get nothing. If the formula was pivot to the right and there's no change, how about pivot it to the left? left? So it's important that you take things to the next level and it's important that you come on this transformational journey with us. And before we get into the concept of creativity, it's also important to highlight the points of as we deal with confidence. So in episode one, we spoke for some key points um, and one of the things we spoke about confidence as a leader and it's important to highlight because now you know, if you did not know, now that you know, because you were created by the creator and you're a creative being, and therefore creativity is innate to everyone. It's about what we choose to do with it. That should give you confidence, period. I could end the video right there, <laughs> right? That should give you confidence, but more important, understanding that you are the apple of his eye, that you should know, according to Jeremiah 29, 11, he knows the gifts 
that he has for you. He knows the plans that he has for you. So we all have gifts and talents and we must subscribe to that belief because we walk by faith and not by sight. Correct? Okay. So it's important that we approach. That should give us confidence. But if that doesn't do it, here's some other pointers by Dan McCarthy. He recommended from Pragmatic House, you also want to invest in professional development. That would help boost your confidence. You want to network, rub elbows with other leaders. That should boost your confidence. He wants you to develop your emotional intelligence. We spoke about that in level one. That should give you confidence. It's important to self-reflect. We reinforce that in level one. Self-reflection builds self-awareness, which allows you to self-check and self-correct. That builds confidence. Also, we highly recommend that you don't think, take things on, right? Um, so don't worry about someone who may laugh at you in terms of the prog progress you're making. In this era of social media, um, unfortunately, I would say, um, you have to brand and you have to use social media. So if this is your divine purpose and you're using this to promote the work in the vineyard, go by all means and do so. Don't worry about the individuals who are laughing in the background or in your face. You don't have to be able to dust it off. This is all about assuming risk. And that's another thing. Be confident about your decision making. And if you're not confident about decision making, I encourage you to stick with us and also view us on our online radio program, Jumpstart with CPR Only on Money Radio. It comes on every Tuesday, 10, 15 a.m. Central, 11, 15 a.m. Eastern, and 4, 15 p.m. Central, that is 5, 15 p.m. Eastern, Only on Money Radio. And we've just completed 30 episodes. That's a huge milestone. And we all know the importance of 30 um, biblically speaking, so it's important to say all praises to the Most High. And um, with my obedience, I was able to be guided so that I can complete 30 episodes of that. So there's a lot of free nuggets available to you. Simply go to Wani Radio, Wani Program, Wani Podcast, like Jumpstart with CPR, and you have almost 30 archive audios waiting for you. And then right on this platform on YouTube, you have level one series already completed, and then we join us here on level two. So the focus again is on creativity. I ask you to close your eyes and think about it. When you hear the word creativity, what comes to mind? So I tell you for me before studying the concept of creativity, and it is a science. We know that it's not based on GPA or IQ. It's not based on SAT scores, whether you graduated from college or not, whether you graduated from high school or not, whether you're white collar or blue collar worker. We're all blessed with creativity and talents. So don't let anyone tell you different. So is that creativity and talent, understanding that creativity is an interdisciplinary science. So it's geology, it's astrology, it's math, it's chemistry, it's physics, it's linguistics, it's paralinguistics, it's astronomy, it's astrology. Creativity is indeed interdisciplinary. And why for me, I thought creativity was only um, as a result of being a mad scientist and studying for far too long, we now know that's not true, at least I do. And I'm here to tell you that was clearly false. I'm not sure how I got hold of that concept, but I am um, in my faith walk. It's great to know that the creator created everything and we can see the proof in the pudding when we walk out in nature, when you see the sunrise and the sunset, when you see the different elements that make up the weather system, whether it's the snow and the rain, whether it's the wind, whether it's the change in foliage during the fall months and the falling of the leaves. That's the perfect timing of everything all belongs to the most high. So indeed we are creative beings. And I said that to inspire you to set up your system where you can be creative and have a competitive edge. Now I know we're working and living in turbulent times, so we don't know when that time is. We know the seasons and we certainly live in the season where there's an intensity of everything and the frequency of everything. So we're definitely living in the seasons, but it could be a couple of years from now. And until then, what are you doing? How are you spending your time? How are you laboring in the vineyard while working what he called you to do? And this is an awesome way to do it, honing your leadership skills or investing in your business while being an effective leader. So let's get again into creativity. And these are, this is a framework um, designed by Wallace and based on Wallace, he recommended the process of creativity. 
It includes preparation, incubation, illumination, and verification. So let's get into it. So the concept of preparation first denotes that you have a problem. If it's not broken, why fix it? So you're not seeking resolution if there's no problem. So assume there's a problem. And if you were doing the work that we recommended, whether on your business plan, the SWOT analysis, or from level one, when you did the SWOT analysis leadership, in the weakness and threats column should lie some problems. So if you were to identify any one of those, there you go, you have a problem. Looking at the problem, the whole process of preparation is identifying the problem, planning accordingly and collecting data, whether it's internal or external from customers or your own team. Then allow all that data to be put aside for a few, right? And in the midst of working and playing with your team and your family, in the midst of sleeping and exercising and, and getting your healthy workout on, in the midst of all of that, in the midst of life, that idea and ideas will be germinated and be marinated in your mind. And then it's put in kind of like metaphorically a, a cocoon of ideas, moving towards the birth of ideas. And that kind of cocoon is likened to baby in a womb, a fetus in a womb growing because it's being nurtured and nourished by the mom. It's also likened to a lava. So a caterpillar morphed into a lava, placed in a cocoon, and eventually it morphs into a beautiful idea. That's the way your ideas are germinated or birthed. It finds its wings and you go, aha, uh -huh, I have it. But all this time, that idea was being marinated. That aha moment or the light bulb moment, or you have an epiphany, it's called illumination and rightfully so. You suddenly you're illuminated, but it's because of the two prior steps of planning, the preparation, you're thinking, you're sharing, collecting data, and then given that time for the idea just to lie and be nourished. It's called illumination. And once you have an idea or ideas, the next step is trial and error. You have to test it out. That's the verification. So whether you pilot it or you phase it in, whichever way you decide to do it, you determine whether it works for this time, this season, this problem. And if it doesn't, then you put it aside. Don't give it away. Don't give away your ideas. You put it aside. It may very well be an idea for the future. So you begin the process over again and you continue and continue until you have an arsenal of wonderful ideas that you've birthed. And that is the whole framework of creativity as I know it. So that concludes level two, episode number two, the theme of creativity. We're gonna delve in further in terms of what that preparation process looks like, etc. in the near future. But we strongly encourage you that you tackle those and see how it works. Um, we are available, of course, for comments. You could send me an email at workclimate.cprlc.com. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. And what we want to do is to conclude with Psalms 121. The Psalms are such a beautiful um, way of concluding. And when we consider creativity, it is indeed very important to understand and that's Psalms 121, verse eight. We're going to adorn our scarf again. And it reads, Psalm 121, eight, the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. And I felt that was befitting for this time because in addition to everything else we discuss here, we know there are a lot of things that's going on and we are not burying our heads. We're just preparing you in terms of honing your style for when that time comes. In addition, it can be used now, this time, this season and beyond. So it's important to do the work. If you think you have identified negative attributes, do the work with us on CPR More Leadership Coaching Tidbit and look forward to see wonderful transformation. So I thank you for joining us um, on this episode. And again, please be sure to listen to us on One Radio every Tuesday on Jumpstart with CPR. That is 10, 15 a.m. Central, 11, 15 a.m. Eastern. And 4, 15 p.m. Central, that is 5, 15 p.m. Eastern. 
only on winning radio.